In this video, I'm going to do a worked example of how you actually use the stop product to solve what would otherwise be quite a difficult problem. This is in general is the quickest and easiest way to solve any problem where you want to work out what the flux is of some vector field through some area. In this case, let's stick with radiation field. Let's assume once again we have a house with a roof. Let's assume the roof is tilted west a little bit and has a window in it of the area A. And once again, let's assume we have radiation coming in, but instead of coming from vertically downwards, let's assume it's coming from a bit in the north. So it's midday in summer. And let's assume it's coming at some angle alpha from the north. So that direction is north. How much radiation gets through? Now let's have a look at from this direction. If we have a look at the roof from this direction, what we'll see is the roof is tilted to the west at, let's call that angle, beta. And from this angle, the radiation is coming down from the north, pointing a bit out of the screen as it comes towards us. So we've got two angles at right angles to each, at right angles to each other. This thing is tilted from the north, and the whole roof is tilted towards the west. How can you calculate, given these two different angles, alpha and beta, how much is getting through? Well, that's where the dot product really helps you. So what we're going to do is write down two vectors. We're going to write down an intensity vector, and we're going to write down a normal unit vector from the window, and we'll take the dot product of the two to work out how much gets through. We're going to need to define some coordinates. So let's pick, I don't know, let's have x in that direction, y coming out of the screen, and z vertical. So in this diagram, what we've got is x coming out of the screen. We've got y in that direction. And we've got z vertical again. So what is the intensity vector? So the intensity vector is going to be the numerical value of the magnitude of the intensity. So mod i times... Well, it's going to have x, y, and z components. So if that angle there is alpha, the x component is going to be sine alpha. The y component is going to be 0. The light's not going at all in the westerly direction. And the z component is going to be it's in the minus z direction. And it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be minus cos alpha. OK, that's the vector notation for the incoming rate vector field, the, in this case the radiation field. How about the normal vector down here? So the normal vector is going something like that direction. And if this angle is beta, then that angle is beta. So that angle must be beta. So that angle there is beta. So the normal vector is going to have unit length, and its magnitude the, it's going to be a um, no x component. The y component is going to be minus, uh, so it's opposite, so minus sine beta. And the z component is going to be minus cos beta. So then we can just work out the total flux. So the total flux is the dot product of the intensity vector dot product n times the area. So that's going to be mod of the intensity times the area. And then the dot product, you take each component of the vectors, multiply them together separately, and add them together. So you have naught times sine alpha, which is naught, plus, that should be naught, not theta, naught times sine beta, which is naught, plus minus cos alpha times minus cos beta, minus times minus is plus, so that's going to be cos alpha cos beta. 
So it turns out the flux through is just mod of the intensity times the area cos alpha cos beta. Very easy.